That was a disaster. That was a disaster. That's not getting cooked, but you know what? Maybe they like it like that. Oh, wait, I don't want to serve this yet. Because as soon as I serve it, they're going to be like, uh -huh. You're ready for the next dish? Uh -huh. I don't know why that was, that was a really bad goofy impression. I don't even think it was, I was trying to be goofy. Alright, um, so I need to boil the asparagus. Okay, meh, 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 meh. one liter of water. Thank you, sponge. Ugh. Oh man, the salmon is totally good. And I haven't even... Uh, I haven't even started on the spare goose. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. Um, and then it was 20 as normal. 20 of salt? Yes. What's your guys' opinion on asparagus? I know this is a very one-sided conversation, and it's mostly me just opening the door to be like, I don't really care what your opinion of asparagus is, but here's what my opinion of asparagus is. Because I freaking love asparagus. Um, get out of here, griddle pan. You were useless. Um, but no, it's, uh, I mean, if you don't like asparagus, I'm sorry you don't like asparagus, because I think it's delicious. Oh! My life. My life is a fart, guys. I think I just dumped out like half the water. Okay, close enough. It's gonna be not salty enough, but that's fine. And then it was what? 100 seconds. Alright, alright. Still got it. Don't lose faith. Don't lose the, the fight. Don't let the fight die out. Don't let your heart be, be distraught. Okay. Anyways, asparagus is really good. But here's my biggest complaint about asparagus. I love to cook it at home. I love making it myself. I usually actually put it in a grill pan and I, I, I fry it with some oil and stuff. Um, but my biggest complaint is that uh, people at restaurants, at, at almost every restaurant I've ever been to, I could probably count on my fingers the number of restaurants I've been to that when I've ordered asparagus, they don't, there's a proper way to do stuff with asparagus. You have to snap the ends off of it when you, uh, when you're going to cook it because there's like a little bit on the end that's like woody. Um, and not the cowboy from Toy Story, I'm just... Anyway, it's wood-like in its consistency, and it is disgusting. It's literally like ripping off a piece of tree bark and being like, I would really enjoy eating this, and then biting it, and then going, no, I've made a horrible decision. Um, so, no, it's it's gross. And when they don't rip it off, like, I, that will literally... That's the type of thing, my guest complaints, I'd give a dish four and a half stars, and the half a star would be like, didn't break the asparagus at the natural breaking point. And they probably want to serve the most asparagus that they can, and like, I get that. Is this even cooking? What's happening right here? I don't have time for these shenanigans! Why isn't this cooking? Ugh, alright, our dish has gotta go out. It said hurry up. It gave me the... You know, the waiter kind of poked his head in and was like, Hey, that dish that's literally sitting right there on the counter, can I serve it out to our customers? Let's see what our complaint is. Not enough salt. Bad cutting in. That was the closest I've ever been. You gotta give me that. But the customer doesn't know that. Is this not even... It's not even on the... Ay ay ay. that's the issue. Oh my gosh. Hey, tomato soup. That I can do. We're gonna heat it back up. Remember last time it wasn't heated? I can't believe- I don't like you. In fact, you're useless to me. You get a special place. You know what? You guys are both going on this bottom shelf so I don't have to look at you. No, 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 no. Don't you try to run away. Stay there. Ugh, you know what? You're also useless. Wow, this is the shelf of shame. Hi, welcome to the shelf of shame. We got everything here. We got a large plastic bowl that serves no purpose. We got a griddle pan that's too small to grill anything when we literally have a really a functioning grill right over here. And then we've got the devil's bowling pin. Wow, does he make a mess, am I right? All right, and this salmon, it's still hot. That's good. The asparagus is coming along, coming along. 
I'm going into overtime, guys. This is a this is a first. The salmon and asparagus is in overtime, and it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Also, did it say I have three orders right now? Oh no! At least the tomato soup's already cooked, and not to mention this is our five star tomato soup. Okay, no rush, no rush, gentle, good. Okay, now this is going out. This is going out hot, and our customer is gonna be like, "Wow, this is the tomato soup I read about." in that, that review. Four and a half stars, excuse me. Huh? Unwanted. Why are there, why are there spices in here? I don't know what happened. Our guest is happy. You did okay, I guess. I don't like you, waiter man. All right, let's turn off this suit. A new order. Oh my gosh, salmon and boiled potatoes. Well, as soon as this asparagus is done, hold on guys, I'm in overtime. This dude is sitting out there like, where is my asparagus? It's probably me, honestly. And then I'm just like, they better have snapped the ends. There's that. Salmon. All right, let's get this one out because this is like muy importante. One minute overtime. Oof. That's what realization time means, that I got it out on time. I totally didn't. No, I didn't drizzle it with lemon juice. Well, it was overtime, dude. What did you want? Did you want to eat or did you want it to be perfect? Because it was one or the other. That was, those were the options. Okay, um, what do we have? Baked trout and salmon steak and potatoes. Okay, 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 okay. Um, all right, let's grab a couple things. Let's run over here. Okay, two potatoes. Trout and a salmon steak. Ooh, and a lemon. Get out of there, you don't belong there. Ay, ay, ay. My guy just totally sneezed. It was like, <laughs> All right, here we go. Did I lose? Did I forget everything? Okay, good. I got everything. Okay. Salmon. Needs to be seasoned. Salt and pepper. Check. Okay, good. I need new water, even though that was good water. I didn't want him to be like, this tastes like asparagus water. Mm -hmm. Nope, so close, but no cigar. Oh boy. So, funny story. I was driving down the street the other day and I drive by this Lay's truck, and I know you guys have seen the Lay's trucks where they're like the Lay's delivery trucks. I almost just put that lemon in there. That would have been weird. I would have been chopping that potato and been like, anyway. Okay. Uh, this needs 10. Oh, too much oil. I'll take it. I, I don't care. I, I don't have time to be messing around with this. And that's 90 seconds each. And actually, at that time, the potatoes will be done roughly thereabouts, too. And for this, we need Peppa. Okay. So, you know those Lay's trucks that, like, deliver chips? And, like, they'll usually have, like, Lay's or Doritos written on the side of it. Well, I was driving by, and it's one of those, like, big, like, almost like an armored truck-looking thing. And literally on the back, they have this little tiny bumper... Not a bumper, but, like, it looks like a bumper sticker. That literally says... Um does not carry cash and I was like who gosh I can't like pick up the tray while I've got the fish in my hand really my guy is will you stop we I hate you oh I've broken them I've broken them oh no we can't no <laughs> no okay good I was like no 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 I can't have done this ay 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 90 seconds, so that's for this. Okay. Um, so anyway, so it says does not carry cash, and I was like, who is in a sorry enough state mm, that they're trying to rob a Lay's thing? I just imagine this, like, really elaborate uh, heist being set up by these guys who don't quite get it. They're not quite all, all up there. They're like, yeah, we're gonna... 
We're gonna take on this Lay's truck. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna knock it over and we're gonna steal all the cash they got in the back of their truck. And the guy's like, yeah, boss, they got a lot in the back of their truck. And then they walk away with a bunch of free Doritos and Cheetos, and they're like, you know what, it was not a bad haul, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, <sighs> alright. You know what my one complaint about Cheetos is? I'm just going on this whole rant today, I've got a lot to say. My one complaint about Cheetos is that they're, uh, is the orange fingers you get, the orange dust. Oh, I gotta cut my lemon. All right, here we go. Lemon. Actually, you know what I could do? I could do very similar to what I did with the apple. They're not perfect wedges, but I've seen people do this. Lemon quarters. Yeah, that works. 23, 24, 15. I always cut that one side too small. It's very deceiving. Hot trout, hot trout coming through. Okay. Boop. Ba -da boop. I gotta horse this radish. Okay. Shush. Alright, there's the potatoes. Salmon is good. Salmon is out. We did it. We got that one out. Thank goodness. I served. Ay, ay, ay. Where is it? Oh my gosh. I gotta, I gotta make a whole new salmon steak. Oh my gosh, and potatoes. If I use the same water, do you think they'll know? It doesn't matter at this point, I don't have time to do anything else. Oh no. Oh boy, how did I mess up so royally? Well, it's not a matter of how, because we know that I'm capable of it. Just another- I'm just, I'm just gonna keep a checklist of all the things that I've just completely royally screwed up on this game, like... Ah, spilled uh, an entire pot of soup everywhere? Check. Messed up an order that was supposed to be very simple? Check. Poured just a little too much oil for somebody? Check. Alright, there we go. Chopped potatoes into slightly asymmetrical pieces, enough so that the customer who is probably not some sort of fine fine dining expert would look at it and be like this doesn't look right check you are trash yes it's useless oh i can't i can't believe i did that guys could have done better. Definitely could have done better. Hmm. All right. Well, now we wait. It's gonna be overtime. Oh, my lemon! Hurry up! You don't have to tell me, boy. I'm gonna have to clean that up later. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna still be like finding lemons, like in the next couple of episodes and be like, Where, how did this lemon get over here? Um, I was gonna say... Ah, okay, let's flip. I was gonna show you guys some of the decorations. I know I was mocking the decorations, but I was looking at them yesterday, and I actually can change... It's not like actual, like, kitchen decorations. It's like, I can change the way that the kitchen looks. So, since it kind of looks dumpy now, I mean, it looks okay, but it... It definitely looks like a two-star restaurant, but we can we can get it upgraded and make it look a little bit better. Potate, potate. Don't you go. Man, this is gonna be a cleanup and a half. I have literally like four minutes to do the cleanup. And uh I know we're in overtime. This is a first. This is a first. Another checklist. Overtime. Check. Oh wow, oh wow. This is not a good day. My guy came in, he had, he was partying a little too hard last night, and he came in and he was just like, uh, salmon up? And they're like, sir, this is, this is trout. And they were like, he was like, no, trust me, it's salmon. Serve it to those guys. Ugh.
Good. Be gone. 35 seconds over. I'm broken. I'm a broken man. Not enough salt. I didn't add any salt to the... Did I pour new water? No, I didn't. No, I, I used the same water. Hmm. Wow, 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 wow. What a dark day this was. But you know what? We made it through. We've, we tried a new recipe. Um, we, we tried some new things. We messed some new things up. We had fun in this kitchen. That's what it's all about, right? The Bobbylicious Kitchen, you come to have fun. I know, well, I don't know that I had, I would say I had fun. Um, more like a never waking nightmare, but you know what? It's okay. We're here. We're having a great time. I'm just kidding. This is a blast. I love this. Once we hit that level three and we start cooking for the th level three critic, I know that some things are going to change. So thanks for checking in and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.